Welcome, or welcome back to the Neville Goddard Podcast. My name is Mr. 2020. Today's the 7th of January, 7.09 a.m. And today we're going to explore why people struggle. And the number one thing you can do about that. Because you've got a choice today. You can struggle or you can surrender. And surrender just might be the key to speed. But only if you do it the right way. (laughs) This is why people don't like surrender. I didn't. But when I learned how to surrender like we're going to explore today. uh, Speed, ease, prevail. Let's dive in. Thank you for listening. All right, so Neville Goddard talks about a thrill is sent through a divine being. Neville Goddard also says, if you know, God knows. Neville Goddard also says, well, the moment you feel desire, that's when you move into its assumption. And Neville Goddard also says, prayer is to be contrasted with an act of will. Prayer is an act of surrender. So I want you to get the gold here. And I want you to notice where you're adding in struggle because you've got a choice every day. You have a choice. You can struggle or you can surrender. Write that down next time you listen to this. Don't write it down this time. So you want to do something cool? Listen to every episode twice. The first time, just listen. Second time, write something down. Because in the act of writing down, you make it yours, but in the act of writing down, you also stop the flow of the dance. Some people never write anything down. Some people write constant notes. Constant notes keeps the head seemingly in charge, and the head wants to be in charge. (laughs) The head's not in charge, gang. Sorry. And your head doesn't like that it's not in charge. Your head will go, oh, yes, it is. Yes, I am. Listen, that 20 is (laughs) wrong. Anyway, we can skip all that. Because your head wants to figure out the who, the how, the when, the what steps do I need to take, why it won't happen. And the vision that you live from takes care of all that. Your awareness of being is God. Are you aware of your wish to the point that it's already feeling natural to you? Because when you start to become aware of a desire, at first it's like putting on a new suit of clothes. It's not yours. And after a while you just go, where are my shoes, where are my pants? You know what they feel like because they've become you. You've become them. You do that by moving around inside the outfit. I've got my favorite shoes. I also have my newest pair of shoes. They feel very different and they're the same exact shoe. One of them conforms to the way that I move. One of them is conformed to the shape of my foot. The other one's brand new and they're both useful. The brand new ones will slowly become my favorite ones. My favorite ones I'll end up tossing in the rubbish. And that's okay. Physical things wear out. You are eternal. Like my friend Robin said, she is God having the adventure of a lifetime in a 23-year-old body. How cool is that? When you get that you're not 23, when I get that I'm not 56, my body is. Most days I feel like I'm 23 in most ways. And the reason I feel that way is because I'm eternal, and so are you. The eternal gets to surrender to the temporary. Write that down, then go get the Secrets of Surrender pack. That's at nevillegoddardstore.com. The eternal gets to surrender to the temporary. For a while, I choose to surrender to the state of loving teacher. When I was younger, I surrendered to the state of police officer. When I was younger, I surrendered to the state of restorative nurse. When I was younger, I surrendered to the state of, uh, I don't even know what you call it. I worked in the banking industry. I sold cryovac meat door to door. I did a lot of things when I was younger. Kung Fu master. (laughs) Kung Fu master blast of disaster. Yeah, whatever. The eternal you gets to surrender to temporary and you get to have fun doing that. But if you try to force yourself to put on an outfit that doesn't fit right or feel right, then you're not going to 
That's not the right way to do this. Again, my strong suggestion, secrets of surrender. That and the streetcar method, those go hand in hand. But meanwhile, surrender. 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 God, Victoria made this yummy lunch the other day. She made lamb. And I walk into the house after coming up from the pool and I just go, God, that smells good. That's surrender. I don't try to find it. I surrender to it. Surrender to the sensory vividness of it. Surrender to the emotional completeness of it. Surrender to accomplished and satisfied. Don't know how? Secrets of surrender. We're exploring some of the why because if you make this work, I will, I will force myself to feel it now so that it'll happen on Friday. I just got that email. I'm forcing myself to feel it now so it happens on Friday. They're talking about a lottery win. I, I, my counter is always pretty simple. Hey, Joseph Goddard, my other counter is always Secrets of Surrender. Those two walk hand in hand, Joseph Goddard and the Secrets of Surrender. Because you get to own your day, not by being a tyrant, but by being the eternal, surrendering to the temporary. I'm going to have a temporary experience of Victoria's Yum today at lunchtime. And uh, I surrendered to it before I got out of bed this morning. Some people say that's a small wish. I say that's a grand wish because I'm married to her. And I want to share yummy moments with her all the time. And so I imagine up one specific one. And here's, here's another thing, right? I just love this. Mr. 20, you imagining lunch with Victoria is no big deal. You want to bet? If every day I'm imagining up a specific yummy moment with her like it's no big deal, right? Because it is no big deal. That implies I have a lot of yummy moments with my wife. I consider that a big deal. Because I plan on dying here and living here for a long time with her. Because we share a lovely dance together. I imagine up something, she imagines up something, we overlap. We don't chase or crave each other. That would be an act of will. I don't try to make her mine so I'll be happy. I surrender to the dance. And as she surrenders to the dance, our dances overlap. Secrets of surrender. It's a lovely thing, but we live in a culture that worships push force by Friday. You see, you're not going to be worried if it happens by Friday or not, <clears throat> if you're having daily wins, and if you've really nailed it. See, I, I really don't get worked up if lunch doesn't happen by 115. Sometimes it happens at 110, sometimes it happens at 145. And I don't get worked up about it. I could, I used to when I was younger. Got to have lunch done so that I can have this done. There are some days where I do need to eat a little earlier, and I tell Victoria, look, if we can pull it off earlier, that's great. Because i got to call at 3.30. Meanwhile, I could force things to happen or I can surrender. If you notice you've been forceful, frustrated, this is the crass commercial. Secrets of Surrender. By the way, according to Spotify, I, ha I put out more than 99% of the people in the, uh, I think I'm in the educational category. I do it in about 10, 15 minutes a day. Here's the thing, guys. Change happens like that. Little tiny bits. Little easy surrenders. This is why we did ManifestingMasteryCourse.com the way we did. 15 minutes a day, a dollar a day. Let's eliminate excuses. You don't have to force yourself to save up $2,000 to change your life and have to work for hours a day. If I could say the one thing that holds people back from that course, it's that. They can't believe it can be that simple. And so they worship complicated, struggle, and expensive. Why? Sooner or later, you're going to discover elegance. Sooner or later, you're going to discover dance. Sooner or later, you're going to discover that you surrender to the sniff. And that's where you discover the beauty. Oh, that's good. That right there can be an imaginal act. Because if you know, God knows. 
Your awareness of being is God. All right, that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. If you haven't subscribed to us already, why not? Go for it. Do it. Click that button too, wherever you are. Feel free to leave a comment if you're on Spotify. And most importantly, play is the way. And if you want to dive deep into what we explored today, go to nevillegoddardstore.com. The Secrets of Surrender. <laughs> See ya.